uh, cut shot he he played he played straight into the hands of the fielder i hope he doesn't get frustrated his job is to yes go out there and and play positive be the aggressor but sometime when you are facing a quality like nasim shah you don't have to rush you don't have to just throw your wicket away just wait for the bad delivery it will come just like that oh but it's gone i reckon shazam thought he was in business there didn't quite time it and he's perished well this is what happens when you don't get a good start your hands get tired and you hit the ball straight into the hand it was there to be hit just because he was anxious that is the reason why he hit it in the air straight to the man Nasim Shah a wicket taker picked up a wicket off Zeeshan Ashraf gone for eight is 23 for one First one down inside the power play, 3.5 gone, and this is uh, Sean Masood, the skipper. It's, uh, good numbers. And, uh, in terms of good numbers, yesterday, 61 from 42, seven fours and the one maximum, and it was the double M show, Moen and Masood, in terms of getting runs. But this is the end of uh, Zishan. Previous delivery. Yeah, the bat just swiveled in the hand. As you say, Waka. And figuring out where somebody is most ex where somebody is most effective. If you He's pulled that, it's in the air. And then has to go. Good catch at the bench. No one has his back. Well, James Vince has been trying to up this scoring rate as much as possible. Once again, his weakness to left arm spin. Trying to heave this over the fence. Hit it way too high. He's got it a little bit high on the bat. Well, Jubilee, safe hands moment. Out in the deep. Second wicket falls. It's big wicket of Vince. 40 for two. Coaching all around the globe, different franchises, of course, had that relationship with Andy Flower when he was with England, Andy Flower. So lots of experience and inspiration from coaches here in the HBL PSL. Oh dear, a little bit of cramping possibly. Been there a while and he's um, fatted a few. Nine four six six is Riley Rousseau. There's the change up, that's the wicket. Finally, there's a bit of change of pace and a change of luck and fortune for the Gladiators. Well, that's what I meant when I said, try to bowl those short deliveries. If the fuller delivery is not working, go for the short one. Wicket, very rare wicket for Koita Gladiator, broken the partnership. But this man is still out there, struggling with his foot. Bounced a little bit and couldn't really go over the top. Easy catch, simple catch there for the fielder. Shah, another big striker of the ball, is he going to just nudge it around and
give strike back to Riley Rousseau because only four deliveries left. He deserved it though. He definitely deserved his hundred. Very flawless inning from Riley Rousseau. Here we go. In the air. In the air. Somebody's got to catch it. Batsman's cross. Riley Rasu will be facing. Yeah, good stuff and away from Crystal Sharp. He knew he had to get Riley Rasu back on strike or six and out. Did the right thing for the team. And he has to pop back to the pavilion. Yeah, hand off the blade. And, uh, down the throat in the end of uh, Anwar Ali. Yeah, very important to see them actually cross. Riley was very quick through. He was out of the blocks early. And Crystal Shah gone for a single, and Multan 196 for five. Hold your nerve. They try and bully you at the crease. And his guile that's going to remove them. And take it! Just what they need, a bit of luck. Jason Roy is as sick as a pig. He could have hit it anywhere. In fact, he should have hit it about 15 rows back. Now he's walking back to the pavilion. I'm not too sure how sick pigs get, Danny, but well, he could have hit this anywhere. He feels straight out to the man. Didn't even really need to move. Again, cagey bowling. Brings about the first wicket, a massive wicket. Jason Roy, out for 30, 57 for one. Good. Well, has he got enough? No, he hasn't. Vince with the catch and the breakthrough. Who says you've got to pitch the ball up? Who says you've got to flight it? Just bang it in, long hop. And you'll get a wicket. Push the shot. Get the Sonali. Don't want to look at this replay again. It's short. It's there to be smoked out of the ground. And it hit it straight to Ben. Good captaincy. Good wicket. Other van goes left side. Good. I just wonder whether they wanted that wicket, the previous ball, over this one. As of the man dismissed, you always celebrate a wicket, yes. But how big a moment in this game was that previous ball. Shane Watson well set. Third wicket falls. And finally, someone held onto a catch. Good catch. Nothing for him, though. Up, up and away, Moen Ali, oh, you little ripper this time, he's taken this one and look out, shut the gate, stop him and Tahir from leaving the stadium, <laughs> he literally left the stadium, wow, he knows this was important, this was big, Moen Ali was under so much pressure, Dropped him earlier. He wasn't going to draw it this time. Is this the game for Multan? A little bit more flight. Should have used maybe a little bit more of his feet. But watch him coming down. Watch his eyes. Watch those eyes. Staying on the ball. Comfortable this time. And Imran thought, here we go. Sliced it up. Captain wants it and gets it. Yes. Celebration time. A big, big moment in this match. Game 12. It's the end of cutting. Blast him. Wonderful thinking by Bilal Bhatti. Playing for the first time in this tournament. Ball short, ball wide, ball a little slower. A 
can't reach it to go straight up. No control at all. Look at those eyes. Take it easy. No problem. No issues. Fingers up. I'll take that. I'm winning this game. He knows. Can he moose this out of the ballpark? Can he? Can he? No! No! What a juggling act! No! Oh, what a circus star! Madsen's on substituting. He takes the high five and applause with a little bobble out there at mid-wicket. And it's the sixth one down now. Multan cannot lose in Multan, that's for sure. Third game in a row. They're doing everything right. They're touching anything. It's turning back to Pakistan now. You'll see more teams. Run out, run out, pick the ball. What is happening there? Soyal Tanveer was trying to play some football. Umpire has given him out, is he? No, he's going upstairs now. But I think Soyal Khan had enough. He's just moving back to the pavilion. Just want to make absolute sure with the gather and the breaking of the stumps. So we're just going to have a look and... Faisal Afridi just going to go upstairs. I think, he, I think he gave him out first and then he thought, OK, let's go upstairs. Yeah, clearly. I think uh, when he hit the stumps or when he took the bails off, actually the ball was in his hand. Out should be the call. Another wicket. Yeah, seventh one down, courtesy of a run out. 